in downtown Riverside right now at Division 9 Art Gallery. And I'm focusing, oh, I'm not doing a very good job. I'm here with Cosme. So tell me a little bit about Division 9 and what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? This is a, an event that we just had that's called Arnival. And the concept is like a carnival. Uh -huh. But uh, when you play the games, you get to play to win art. Oh, that's cool. So this is one of the games that I made specifically for that event. And its idea is to get kids involved with, you know, playing with the actual, actual games you can touch yeah. and also be introduced to art. And also get the community involved. To, you know, I had artists come here on Tuesday nights and create artwork. Like I would teach them, you know, dry point. We had an artist come here and teach them about ceramics, jewelry. So they help us produce our work and we teach them something. And all the work produced is for these games. I'm, I'm pretty good at it, if I do say so. Ready to take yeah. me on? Yeah. All right, here we go. So it's a challenge. I didn't realize I'd be walking into an art gallery on a challenge right off the bat. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, let's see. How are you doing over there? So while we're, while we're <laughs> watching you succeed at this, how did Division, Division 9 start? It actually started in the basement of the Life Art Center. Uh -huh. uh, about, uh, it's going to be about 12 years now. 12 years. Yeah, about 12 years. In the basement, um, they actually allowed me to use the basement for free for a while, if, as long as I repaired it. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> we've been doing that ever since. So the idea was, you know, I'm an artist myself, just got tired of showing at different places and wonder why Riverside didn't have a gallery for people like, you know, that can, local artists can actually showcase their artwork. Uh -huh. And actually the name came from one of the artists that found all the assemblage artwork. He found like, drywall, anything he found, he put it all together. And one of the pieces he found had a DIV-9, Department 26. Yeah. So I just took that DIV-9 and turned it into Division 9 Gallery. And actually, this last Arts Walk, you know, we had a, an event on the parking lot with music and bands and artists got demos. And I take these games out so people could play. Take me around the gallery here. What, first of all, tell me, tell me a little bit about these pieces that are behind us, which are well, pretty amazing. Yeah. This is Matthew um, Montesino, uh -huh. and he's an artist that we showcase this month. Every, okay. every month we rotate the gallery. So I give a new artist an opportunity to show their artwork. And this is the artist we're showcasing his work this time. So like these artists, I mean, do they just have these paintings at their house and they decide, or how does that work? You know, I, I either find them or they find me. Okay. They bring their portfolio to me. I look at the portfolio and see where they're at. If they're, you know, we're at a point where they can show their artwork, we talk about it giving them an exhibition. That's cool. Yeah. No, that's cool. This seems like an ultimate community, you know, kind of a, a tie-in. In fact, yeah. you had told me before we started about the, the art walk, and yeah. this obviously big in Riverside. Tell us a little bit about the art walk. It, it's funny, because, you know, it, I had gone to Pomona and saw the art walk out there, and I go, why is there no art walk in Riverside? <laughs> so I asked around, you know, get, try to get people involved, and at that time, people didn't really want it, wanted to, they thought it was too hard, or, too, too much of an investment to do at the, uh, at the, off the bat. So next door, RCAA, Mark Schooley offered me a solo show, and then I had my basement gallery, so I said, perfect. <laughs> I gathered my friends, <laughs> 17 artists, put them in my basement gallery. <laughs> I had my artwork over here, and you know, every show that you do, they have a, it has a, a title. So I named the show Riverside Arts Walk. The first year was funny, and, but it inspired other galleries, like People's Galleries got on board, People's Gallery, uh, Darren at Back to the Grind, yeah. uh, the Life Art Building. So now it's amazing. Now we get anywhere, depending on the shows that we have, from 2,000 to 7,000 people show up. No way. It's pretty amazing. And, and how often do you do this? Every first Thursday. It's free, 6 to 9. And, no you know, kidding. It's really cool. Wow. That is crazy. And so it's been going on now for, what, three years, you said? Now it's, uh, we just did a 10-year anniversary. Oh, 10? 10 years. Wow. So, it's, so it's, something it's, that started off kind of as a funny thing yeah. is now pretty serious here. It's pretty Riverside. serious, yeah. So what's this right here? This one is Erin Maxwell. She's a local artist. She's, her work is based on mosaic. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to be trying to do is on Arts Walk, she sets her table out there in the parking lot. And she just gets people to come in here and put the mosaics on, on this actual piece. So she's going to be creating pieces. And hopefully we'll find locations in downtown that we can put these on the walls in restaurants or wherever we can, you know, people allow us to bring the mosaic. No kidding. Yeah, so it's kind of cool because you get little kids, adults, and she shows them how to put, you know, how to put these on. What is 
This is another artist that's, he's a local artist as well. And he collects weird, from cameras to cans to car gears, and he likes making robots. And this is basically one of his biggest pieces. But we have these other ones over here as well. Oh, no. From kidding. oil cans, you know, <laughs> from welders. This is one of my favorite pieces here. It's actual, a little bike, a little motorcycle. Wow. You know, he just makes these a camera. And then we're gonna, we offer like workshops now. We're gonna start work, offering workshops 11 to, Saturdays 11 to two. Different workshop for the community to come in, take different workshops from different artists. Really? So, kind of cool. so how does that work? You invite artists in to teach, kind of like the mosaics, and yeah. you just teach people how to yeah. do it. Exactly. Oh, that sounds. Some cool. workshops take you know two or three days, so depending on the artist. So we want to have workshops like a lot of people buy cameras, they don't know how to use it. Yeah. So we invite a photographer to come and teach a, a course on how to use your camera, how to download, download your images, how to shrink them, how to get them ready to send out, and you know, stuff like that. Wow. The jewelry. So we're in the back part of the gallery with an international artist here, Taldor, and tell me a little bit about this piece right here. This piece is titled Between Heaven and Earth. It's going to be uh, probably the showcase piece of my new exhibition opening up next week at the Riverside Arts Project Gallery. And as the title suggests, it's kind of uh, in between heaven and earth. Do you find sometimes that it's, is it hard to describe what you're doing to, to people? It is because I try to keep it pretty open and people usually when they look at a, a work they make up their own minds and I don't want to make their minds up for them. So I try to keep the images as open as possible. Yeah, how long did it take you to create this? This piece took about uh, two months worth of work. Wow. We see two months worth of work, are we talking eight hours a day or a couple hours a... Around eight hours a day, yeah. Wow! Where's your work been seen? In uh, Palermo, Italy. I showed with Zelle Arte Contemporanea. What landed you in Riverside? In Riverside. I have family here. And I uh, moved back thinking it was going to be something temporary. And I met my wife, got married, <laughs> and uh, we now have a house here in Riverside. So you're an IE, you're staying here yeah. now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's this called? Uh, this one's titled Prelude to a Broken Crown, and it makes reference to Jack and Joe, but a little bit more dark. And do you, as an artist, do you find yourself comparing yourself to other artists? Like you say, oh man, that, that person, man, they can bang something out in two days, and it takes me a month and a half, or that person takes five months to a year, and it only takes me a month and a half. No, I try to focus on my own work and I think about, uh, I mean, I appreciate other people's work for what it is. Sure, sure. And I definitely have my influences, but when it comes to creating things, then I try to focus on the work and not other people's uh, work, so. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Amazing work. Thank you. Obviously, a very unique place here in Riverside in the Inland Empire. If you want more information, go to our website at inlandempireexplore.com.